Hi, it's Eliana. So today we're going to talk about the book Creating Protection Healing Grids with Quantum Energetics of Sun Portals and the Light Portals. I've been working on creating protection and healing grids and this book is a compilation of that work that I have been doing. I've created grids that are floor de -lis. Those are protection and healing grids and for manifestation as well, for positively manifesting things to improve your life, to remove blockages, to create new opportunities and changes. This book was inspired by wanting to create energetic grids that work with energy frequency that works with intuitive healing that you can program into the grids yourselves or use the healing examples, protection examples, and manifestation techniques provided in this book as guidance. So there's many choices or you can intuitively program healing mantras, protection mantras, manifestation mantras, according to the words that call to you to create your protection, healing, and manifestation. In these guidances and techniques, working creatively with the grids is about connecting with your thought consciousness, creativity, and your ability to energetically vibrate with what is going to work for you in programming these grids. And they don't require crystals. If you want to put crystals on these grids, you can, but they're using sacred geometry like the Flor de Lis, which is very much connected to Mary Magdalene energies and frequencies, healing energies, positive vibration, positive connection to universe, positive connection to consciousness, healing, protection, and manifestation. Some people might want to put grid, might want to put crystals on these grids, or you can just energetically work with them. Crystals are not required for these grids, because in the past I've done healing grids where crystals, you would put patterns of crystals, but with this sacred geometry, it has the Flor de Lis, it has the stars, the hearts, other healing symbols, and it has the sun portals and the light portals for healing, protection, and manifestation. So it has three different grid sets that you can work with. The first ones are the Flor de Lis, and it tells you how to work with those for protection and healing and manifestation. It provides the technique for how you would connect to these grids on a consciousness level with thought consciousness and it gives you healing and protection examples for how to work with these grids. It describes their purpose and there's 50 grids here and they're numbered and so setting intention to create protection is important for with Flor de Lis, so it gives you an example and guidance of how to do that. It gives you setting intention for creating healing with Flor de Lis as well. If you want to go very specifically with intention, you can, or you can just put your hands over the grids and you will feel the energy of healing, protection, and manifestation. It's already encoded into the energetic frequencies. All the grids are encoded with healing, protection, and manifestation. But if you want to go further and add your own customization to these grids, examples are provided how to do that. Above examples, and this is what the grids look like. They're all labeled. They all have different colors, vibrations, and symbols and you can intuitively tap into which grid calls to you uniquely to you to work with there's many grids here that you can connect to and choose what you think vibrates with you energetically the most that you would like to work 
with for your healing, protection, and manifestation. It's 50 grids in total for the Fleur de Lis, and it has other symbols of the hearts, the stars, and consciousness connection, colors of blue, golden frequency, golden spiral, purple, orange, red, yellow, and many other colors. These vibrations are for healing and for protection and for manifestation, setting good intention for manifesting something into your life, for changing your life, for removing blockages, negativities. All the grids have, of course, labels. Which grid it is, it's all in order. And you can connect to the frequencies to decide which one would work best for you or which grids. Many wonderful choices here. And this is high quality print grids that are in this book. And this book is eight and a half by 11. So you can put your, it's a printed book in paperback. So you can put your hands, both hands over the grids and feel their energy for the healing, the protection. It's energetic vibration encoded in the grids. So you could feel that energy for healing, protection, manifestation. All the grids are coded with these energies and frequencies. Some of these grids are like keys. So you can tap into the vibration of it. And this one is great for manifesting as well. All of them are good for manifesting, but I like the key one because it allows to create opportunities. It allows to create goals, achievements, and you can, man you can meditate with these grids and manifest at the same time during thought consciousness meditation to connect with the frequencies of the grids. It is such a beautiful process to create these beautiful grids that are specifically designed for healing, protection, and manifestation. And I connected to the Akashic Records to also work with Atlantean healing grids and Atlantean light language healing codes and vibrations that help to work with thought consciousness that help to activate our spiritual gifts and talents. talents. So that will also be shown here in this book. And people could work with those grids for activating spiritual gifts and talents. And each grid is unique and individual, has very different colors, vibrations, frequencies, symbols. Sacred geometry is about symbols and connecting to the higher frequencies of healing and imagination, creativity, thought consciousness, and tapping into your spiritual aspects of connecting to your spiritual evolution, spiritual guidance, connecting to your highest self, to your highest healing, highest protection and manifestation, activating your abilities to manifest, to create, and to heal. These grids all help with that. I've working with these grids has helped me to heal a lot with healing, with energy rejuvenation, with creativity as well. And I love artwork. I love beauty. I love creation. And I like seeing the different symbols in these grids. I just like the connection of high vibration and positive intent that these grids inspired in their creation and manifestation. I never thought I would get to do this type of a project, healing protection and manifestation project. It was interesting how this manifested being created in the first place. It was very high vibration. I thought it was unique and I wanted to share these grids so that others can work with them and have a chance to create something beautiful for themselves as well. This was inspirational and creative for me. And I wanted these grids to all be accessible 
in a in a book that you can take anywhere with you to do your healing to work energetically with to do your protection and manifestation you can take this anywhere with you it's very portable and it's very easy to flip the pages to whatever grid you want and just start working with what calls to you on the vibration that it resonates with you for healing protection and manifestation frequencies because each grid is different and it's unique to what you can vibrate with and choose to work with and i looked around to see if there's any any type of flor de lis protection manifestation or healing grids and i didn't find any like nothing i i didn't find any posters grids anything at all nothing and i looked everywhere on the internet i honestly did not find anything so i thought to myself well i really want to have the ability to have healing grids flor de lis healing protection and manifestation grids and i connected to the source field of the universe and the universe said you know what you can create them just follow your healing intuition and energetic guidance and create them make them so they are in existence and this is what came up as a result i honestly did not expect that this would happen but it has and i'm so grateful because again it's allowed me to access healing that I never thought I could. I, I do energetic healing, but this, this is sacred geometry. So it takes it to another level of spirituality and energetic vibrance, creativity and healing. It's a different type of healing with energy and vibration and sacred geometry symbols. And I did not use any crystals here. I'm used to working with creating crystal healing grids with sacred geometry plus putting crystal patterns on top of them but this no crystals at all pure energy vibration and symbols of healing creativity manifestation advancing psychic ability activating telepathic abilities connecting with golden spiral frequencies connecting to color vibration and color healing in these particular grids and activating all of that in connection with light language and light healing of languages and different symbols like the star symbol very inspiring very healing very activating for abilities there's also dragon energy here golden dragon healing energy vibration in this grid and others this one has the golden dragon healing vibration and activating your psychic ability with the golden frequency. Very powerful, very inspiring. This one was the golden mantids came in and their guides for guiding people on soul wisdom path, ascension, creation, intuition. So the golden mantids came in very high energy and they exist in a high frequency density and also the there's some frog energy here so mounted frog energy frogs help with intuition frogs help with wisdom frogs also help help to see potential of opportunities what's to come for creativity and opportunity in people's lives so this was very interesting how this was created and again different types of frequency of golden spiral creation and activation and this is not running any codes it's not running anything that is specifically programmed except for healing manifestation and protection i don't put codes 
into anything that I do. I, I feel it was with light frequency. Sometimes I call, I call it light field codes, connecting to that universal knowledge to create this, but I don't program specific codes into anything. I believe that people should have the right and choice to work with these grids to intuitively customize them for your own purposes as long as you set positive intention and work with positive goals for outcomes you create whatever you want to program with these grids. I don't program them for anything but encoding them with healing protection and manifestation. Just those energies to do this work with. That's it. That's all that's in these grids. There's nothing else. And beautiful color and artistic expression and energetic vibration that is, exists in these grids. But whatever you want, some people like to program specific intents, purposes, and, and they have ideas of what they want to program in their grid, and you can do that with these. Set your own intention, set your own beautiful program for how you activate these grids. That's what I mean by program, activating them for specific purpose and intent for creating something positive or changing something in your life for the better. So I believe in free will choice. And if somebody wants to code the grids with specific energy and frequency, you can. It's very individual. I don't code with anything except healing, protection, and manifestation. That's it. That's the only activation in these grids. There's nothing else but that and positive color frequency vibration and the sacred geometry symbols. That's what these grids have in them as energy vibration. And of course, creativity and energy frequency to create something beautiful and healing. And each person might see something unique in their in these grids. They might it's open to interpretation and what you see in the frequencies, in the colors, in the symbols. Everyone might see something differently, unique to them, and what these grids might mean to you. And that's the customization of how you feel energy, how you sense frequency, and how you interpret that. It will be unique to you in what comes in for you, how you interpret these, and how you read the energies. When I was creating these grids, every grid was unique in the vibration that it held, in the frequency that it came with. And I was connecting to healing. I was connecting to vibration to see which each grid was creating. Beautiful color, beautiful frequency. And again, the, the three things that kept coming up, healing, protection, and manifestation for all of these group sets of grids. Those were the three things energetically coming up. So those were the three things I sort of followed as topics of, of activation for these grids. And that's what the energies are in connection with what these grids do. And I feel that there's crystalline energy here. There's beautiful frequencies of life creation and connection to the universe, source, source creation, source field, tapping into the source field of everything in existence to explore your highest potential for creation, manifestation, healing, and protection. That's what these grids do on the energy frequencies. And there's some hearts here, some stars, and each grid is again unique to what it does and its abilities. And you'll know it when you connect energetically to the frequencies and Sometimes people can feel the energy just by looking at the grids. Some people will put their hands over them to feel the frequencies and the energies to intuit what you're connecting to vibrationally. 
and physically to make sure you're comfortable with it. And, and that's good. You're, you're feeling your abilities expanding and you're tapping in which grids work for you. So I, I was contacted by Kimberly Palm. She is a psychic and she's an intuitive. She's a spiritual teacher and healer. And she had gone to southern France in the Dorgonne River, Perignor, Nor region, Perigord, Nor region in southern France. And she had photographed portals and stargates. So she shared some beautiful information with me. And from her images of the sun portals and stargates and beautiful portal rainbow frequencies, it activated um, another healing frequency and the sun portal healing grids were created. She was also in Royal Canada near St. Tropez in southeastern France and she encountered portals and stargates there as well. And these are her beautiful photographs of the sun portals, stargates and light portals. And she went and saw a beautiful beach that had gold flakes, gold flakes on it. So I included that information and some beautiful information about Southern France. And we're going to look at some healing sun portal grids and what those look like and what those mean. So many frequencies came up of healing here. Also protection and manifestation because the energy frequencies also showed me protection and manifestation as well as the healing and how that works with setting intention and creating the elements of working with good vibration and intention with the sun portal and light portal grids for creating healing protection and manifestation. So those are examples of how you could work with them for that and, and setting a positive and focused intention for creating healing protection and manifestation in your work descriptions of how that works as well. So you're given examples of the type of things you can do with these sun portal healing grids. And they come in different colors, vibrations, frequencies. They have rainbow energy within them. It's beautiful, beautiful connection to color, to vibration, healing, manifestation and protection. I really enjoyed working with these grids and creating them. It felt beautiful, it felt healing and vibrant. And these are energetic portals for goodness, for soul expansion and vibration. They are sun portals. Such beautiful creation. And again, these, these images are they are PNG so when they're printed in high resolution they look high color they have energetic frequency of high vibration and you you can put your hands over these grids in the book this book is eight and a half by eleven so it's large format because so you can connect to these grids you can touch them, you can connect to the energy of the frequency and see what you feel from them for your healing, for your protection and manifestation. And each grid is again unique in what it vibrates to and with for healing, protection and manifestation in its unique frequencies. And again, you'll intuitively know what you're connecting to and how it works for you and we're now exploring the light portal healing grids and again you can use those to manifest and for protection these ones are in interesting color patterns frequencies they have hearts they have stars all of these grids are interesting and honestly, I butterflies and stars here. Interesting. Um, the way these grids came out, 
they were each different. The patterns would show themselves in the sacred geometry and how it created itself in the healing energy. I, I just saw the creation and the beautiful manifestation of, of, what it, of what source field wanted to show me for healing creation. And I just intuitively was guided through the Akashic records to create these grids and to explore healing, protection, and manifestation with different frequencies, gold spiral, blue light, blue healing light, green healing light, purple healing light, orange healing light, white healing light, and just beautiful sacred geometry that expands the mind, that expands the soul, that expands creativity, connection, and creation vibrationally to your highest potential. So the, this is what these grids symbolize in sacred geometry, highest connection to your soul, to your higher self, spirit guides, to protector teams, angels. My higher selves came in to work on these grids. Um, other spiritual teachers came in with guidance uh, my Atlantean selves, the two dragons, Rayala and Kalala, and the mermaid Jelena came in, and a beautiful, beautiful Akashic Records record, records keeper, Marisha came in to work on these grids as well. So, a lot of spiritual team helpers helped with the creation of these beautiful grids and I'm very thankful to them and being able to go into the Akashic records and work with creating these healing grids with all these vibrant colors, frequencies and this is an Atlantean language healing light portal healing grid connecting to healing, connecting to protection, success, balance relaxation, grounding, love, happiness, understanding, and compassion. This grid is written in the healing language of the Atlanteans with that frequency, and it describes what this means and what all of that is. So it's beautiful. And this came from the holo this came from the quantum holographic field of the Akashic Records where I was exploring Atlantean language as part of the healing frequencies in these Atlantean grids. And we're talking here about the language of the Atlanteans and how it was based on frequency, how it was based on nature, how it was based on con connecting to everything in creation and everything that is alive, sound harmonics, sound frequencies of the highest vibration. That's what the Atlantean, original Atlantean la languages were all about, healing, vibrance, protection, manifestation, because they could manifest with frequency to connect to their energetic frequency, to create something into physicality, like manifest with light language of the Atlanteans. So it talks about that, how they were able to do that, and the history of the sacredness of the Atlantean language and languages. We get to explore that because that's what's in these Atlantean healing grids, like portal grids. So I thought I would include what this all means, uh, how it works in, with this language of the Atlanteans. And it's also connected to the wing makers and the healing symbols of the wing, wing makers who are galactic future humanoids who left some beautiful soul wisdom teachings in um, ca time capsules for us to find and work with in the Aero Project. And their language is pictorially con connected to the uh, Atlantean dialects of the Atlantean languages. So I wanted to give that as an example to show how how their artwork is from the Arrow Project 
is also part of healing and connection. And these are the two dragons that connected with me in the Akashic Records, Raylana and Kilala. So beautiful. Um, I believe Raylana is the one on the left, the blue, the white purple dragon. And Kilala is the one on the right, the blue green dragon. So that's them from the Akashic Records. Those are aspects of me. This is Jelena, the purple blue mermaid from Atlantis, from one of my Atlantean lifetimes. And all of them worked with the Atlantean light language healing. They created beautiful murals and healing grids and worked with energy frequencies. The fish were telepathic. Atlanteans were telepathic, so it's interesting information. Um, and we're, we further explore the language of Atlantis and Lemuria and their connections, how Edgar Casey provided some interesting information about these languages and what they meant, and how these languages looked like. And this is, again, what the framework was for the Atlantean language healing grid and its evolution into further grids for Atlantean healing. And this is just the language frequency of Atlantean healing in the light portal healing grids. It has, it's heart centered, it's heart focused. It is all about heart healing, soul healing, soul fragmentation healing. Beautiful and about sound frequency and healing of the soul, the heart, the body, and the mind, healing everything as, as a whole. That's what these frequencies are of these beautiful grids. And it's all from the Atlantean healing languages as this beautiful energetic source field from the Akashic records. Um, it's just, it was a beautiful vibration of healing and soul protection, so I wanted to include that. And these are the rest of the light portal healing grids. Beautiful vibrations, beautiful colors, frequencies, blues, purples, pinks, just beautiful energies of healing. And this one was a little different. It was purple, it was light light healing language atlantean light healing language um heart centeredness flower connection nature soul energy frequency connection healing of the soul healing of the mind the body and healing as a whole heart frequency connected healing uh, and i talk about sacred geometry how that works in these healing and protection grids, what that actually is, how it works as well. And then we go into some ancient sites that could be stargates, portals, and wormholes, like the Gate, gate, gate of the Gods, Amara Moru Stargate, in Hayu Marka, Peru. Beautiful healing energies there. Abu Ghraib, Egypt, the place of the gods. And there's also an ancient stone arrangement in Lake Michigan. That's interesting. There's Stonehenge in Wiltshire, England. That's acts like a stargate and a portal. There's the ancient Sumerian stargate at the Euphrates River. There's Tiwanaku in Bolivia, which is the gate of the sun. Very spiritual place. There's Ranmasu Uyana Stargate in Sri Lanka. There's the Abydos Temple in Egypt, and that acts as a stargate portal. There's Gobekli Tepe in Turkey another stargate type place with the T blocks. And then there's the Sedona Vortexes and the Doorway of the Gods in Sedona, Arizona. Beautiful, very healing. 
We also talk about Earth's natural stargates and their coordinates and frequencies. And I found some of the most beautiful ones in France. For me in particular, um, the stargate located in the Cucoganon Valley, Route des Cafares, France. Oh, such a beautiful stargate. Felt it, it's the path of the Cathars, the frequency and the path that the Cathars traveled is beautiful. And there's a lot of portal stuff in Hawaii. And this is the France, the, the beautiful valley portal in France. Southern France, uh, just a beautiful region with a lot of beautiful portals and stargates. And you can see them in the sky and the sun frequency. And then we explore just frequency and energy of portals and how you can connect like through imagery. Portals can be in images. Portals can be in the sky, same as stargates. So imagery of galactic, planetary and universal portals and how they connect is very important. And that describes it here about the stargates. And, and you can see how some of these stargates may look like in real life. They look like megaliths, megaliths and monuments, like carved from rock or metal on the surface of the earth, underwater and in space. And here's some more Stargate portals and installations worldwide. Like there's a lot of portals in Canada, Alberta, Ontario, Quebec, USA, like Arizona, Sedona, Colorado, Florida, Massachusetts, New York, Long Island, New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island. There's also portals in China. So there's a list of lists of how many portals there are in these places and countries. And what's some examples of what Stargate portals can look like actually like physically on Earth and different planets. They have different types of symbols to activate traveling through these portals physically somewhere on planet or off planet because it's energy frequency coded with symbols, actual carved symbols on these portals that activate plasma energetics and starlight and star energy to travel through these portals. So I wanted to give some examples of what these portals can look like, what people could potentially encounter physically if they see portals. And these are from ancient civilizations. There's portals in Antarctica, there's portals in Hawaii, there's portals in Alaska, there's a pyramid portal in Alaska. And this is a frequency of, of entering portal, the golden field of the spiral of portals. It's an energy frequency. Um, another, this is a, another portal and it has the sacred language, Atlantean sacred language and Lyran sacred language. Another example of a portal of going to a different density dimension. And we're talking about also the guide to Akashic records, several guides, so you can learn how to navigate the Akashic records, which you can encounter in the Akashic records itself. It's very beautiful to see that. Uh, it's very grounding and beautiful information. So that was interesting. Um, what the Akashic records are like, complete guide what you can ask in the Akashic Records, how you can access the Akashic Records, very important information to explore and connect with. Just a lot of information about what the Akashic Records really are and how you navigate within them and work with the Akashic Records. Setting clear intention, being clear what you want to ask, sit in a quiet place to meditate, 
to connect to Akashic Records, meditation, subject of your questions, introduce yourself to anyone you encounter, to the entrance of the Akashic Records that could be your guides, spirit guides, connector guides, higher self, intuitive self, angels, your protector teams, asking your questions, wait for a response, try to interpret and receive the answers and what that means, write down your experience in the Akashic Records, the Akashic field placed beyond time and space, and some interesting information about visiting Akashic Records and Akashic Memory and exploring the holographic archives of the universe since the Akashic Records are part of that. Symbols, frequency, color, vibration that all exists within the Akashic Records of your soul field, universe, and everything in creation. And that is connected to the Akashic Records quite a bit. It is all vibration. It's connected to the quantum fields, to the holographic universe. And the Akasha is on multiple dimensions and densities. The Akashic Records can look unique to every person who visits. They might look different. For someone, it could look like the Book of Life. For someone, it could look like a temple, a healing temple, or a library. So every person will experience their own unique vibration of how the Akashic record manifests for them in the environment that they enter. And it's connected to languages, frequencies, vibration, energetics, and even how you enter your Akashic records can look different to every individual. For me, when I entered my Akashic records, there was a lot of language healing symbols, a lot of frequencies, golden patterns, blues, greens, golden energy fields. And I met some interesting beings. This is Marisha, who I met. She's a record keeper in the Akashic Records, a galactic creator, creates universes, creates galaxies, creator being a very wise being that I met and she showed me herself in a golden spiral frequency of light blue and green and blue and she asked to be represented specifically with these frequencies um, and how she looks like and she guided me through her own Akashic records with her permission to see how the universe is created through her abilities the golden spiral connection and the different frequencies of what that looks like. Again, golden energy, purple energy, crystalline blue healing frequencies, green crystalline frequencies. She works with crystalline frequencies quite a bit. And she just wanted to show how her creation process works through these symbols of universe expansion of universe upgrades because she works with our universe to upgrade it. She's part of that project. So she wanted to show me how that looks like from her Akashic record. So that's what this is. And this is her life path frequency that she connects with in the records. It's very vibrationally coded and unique to her. She just wanted to show a visual aspect of what that can look like, what it can look like in somebody's Akashic Records. To you, it might look different. So this was sort of like a temple style, dome shaped, um, light window staining, like a painted windows of blue and, pur blue and purple. The top of her Akashic record, like seeing seeing the glass painted ceiling in a cathedral or windows. That's what it looked like on top and had stars and vibration, golden frequency on the bottom. This is like the top was the ceiling. This is the bottom, the floor of the Akashic record. And it looked like a healing temple. 
And she showed me a bunch of light code activation, liberating the Atlantean soul with crystals, crystal energy, golden crystal energy, and light language, Atlantean light language healing frequencies. She said this one is light code activation. This was in her Akashic record. Also the light code activation connect with your guides, blue energy, white energy, golden spiral frequencies, Atlantean white language. Um, to me, it felt very healing, very beautiful, very protective and safe. Same with this. Again, more Atlantean light language, healing, activation, protection, manifestation. And this is the spiritual talents and gifts, uh, Atlantean light code activation for activating your abilities and gifts and your unique frequencies of those abilities. I don't get the sense that Marisha is Atlantean herself but she's had lifetimes on earth and other places she's a galactic creator being but since i was curious about the atlantean about the atlantean um light languages and healing languages she had information about that in her akashic record that she shared and this was some of the grids that visually manifested from what she was showing me in the Akashic Records. And here is about the author information and what this book is about, a little more descriptional information with a portal. So that is uh, this beautiful book about creating protection healing grids and quantum energetics of sun portals and the light portals. It's a very expansive book with different types of grids for healing, manifesting, and protection, and a lot of different symbols of sacred geometry for healing, protection, and manifestation. And it's 186 pages. And the links will be included down in the video description for the physical paperback book on Amazon and will also it will also be available in PDF on my website. Um, I think working with it in a physical capacity as a paperback allows you to feel the energy of the grids. And if you choose to get it in PDF, you could still put your hands over the over the grids that it is on a tablet or a computer or a cell phone but you can still feel the vibration of it or if you just want to learn about healing grids sun portals and light portals just as a learning tool and a guide and how healing grids and energetic grids work with sacred geometry it's a great resource for reading about that for learning about portals, stargates, and some of these sacred places on Earth that are portals, stargates, and light portals, and about southern France. So it's a good resource guidebook as well of informational knowledge about healing, protection, manifestation, portals, stargates, and what sacred geometry is, and about how and about how to connect to the Akashic Records to navigate in them and work in your Akashic Records. So thank you so much and namaste.